Over the next few weeks, we're going to be unpacking the proposed state budget and its impact on farming. Governor Tony Evers has announced plans to invest more than $43 million into Wisconsin agriculture. There are four main priority areas, starting with bolstering local meat processing. So Wisconsin is, is fortunate to have the, the infrastructure it has. Uh, we, we still have uh, about 500 meat processing facilities in the state of Wisconsin, and they range from a uh, small Main Street uh, operation in, in uh, a small community in rural Wisconsin, all the way up to some bigger internationally recognized uh, brands. Uh, and those are the processes that help ensure the flow of products from farm to table to help strengthen Wisconsin's economy. One of the things that happened is COVID-19 accelerated and also illustrated some growing trends in the industry. And uh, most importantly, and this is where the governor's budget comes in, highlights opportunities for investment. The first of those is that farmers turn to their local butcher for processing, but consumers also turn to their local processors for meat. Now there's been a trend toward increasing consumer demand for locally produced food. And that's a good thing because again, we grow and process so much here. But second, that existing infrastructure has been showing its age. Uh, many processors find themselves in need of additional space. Uh, maybe they need cold storage. Uh, maybe they need to add some, some retail space, some new equipment. Uh, and processors have been struggling to find enough skilled workers to meet the increased demand mm -hmm. uh, because demand for locally processed meat has increased and capacity hasn't yet expanded. So what we're seeing is uh, farmers are trying to get animals in to get them processed and the, the waiting list is a year long. It's really important that we, in, that we invest in that infrastructure in multiple steps. Step number one getting dollars to those processors so that they can innovate, modernize, expand if they want. Step number two, making sure that they have the qualified, talented staff available by, you know, by getting them uh, trained through either the technical college system or universities uh, or through uh, short courses. And step number three is, is, and it's an important step, we have to have additional state inspectors who are in those facilities to make sure that uh, we're ensuring the safety and quality of that product. And if the, if the industry invests and expands, we don't want the state holding them back because we don't have enough, uh, enough inspectors to help them uh, get through their day.